everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then thank you for watching. My name is Brooke. If you would like to see how I created this look, I go into depth about how I do my foundation and what I do to set and prep my face, then please keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so it'll let you know when I upload my next video. Okay, let's jump right into the video. So before you start your makeup, it is very important that you wash your face. So I washed my face and um, I actually went ahead and I did my eyebrows and I did a little bit of um, eyeshadow and I put some eyelashes on so that way we can just strictly focus on our foundation. So now that my face is completely clean, we are going to go in with the Lumi Glotion. This is a lotion that also has um, a glow to it with a little bit of shimmer. It's not glitter, but it just has that shine. When you're applying product onto your face, you are to use your middle fingers because it is said that those contain the, the least amount of bacteria. And so when you're rubbing it on your face, you know, um, you want to try to minimize the bacteria as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this all over my face to moisturize my skin. As you can see, it gives like a nice glow to the skin. The reason why it is important to apply lotion and to also apply primer, so that way your foundation can stick to your face. You want it to be able to set in place and not move all day long no matter what you're doing. And by adding those, the foundation is actually able to seep into the pores and not move. After I apply my lotion, I am now going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It is important for a primer because the primer fills the pores and it puts a slight coat on top so that way when you're applying your foundation, the foundation also goes straight on top and is very smooth and so that way it will diminish the cracks in your face or you will see like sometimes if you don't put a primer on and you have your foundation on for all day long, let's say like 8 plus hours, you can kind of see that your foundation will start to bubble up and that's because the foundation has not been able to properly smoothen onto the surface of the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and apply about a dime size to my hand of the primer and I'm going to then rub it all over my face. It is also beneficial that when you are applying your makeup, before you do your foundation, that you can let your moisturizer and your primer sit on your face and let the pores completely take in that product before you apply your foundation. So I like to wait about five minutes, if I have time, to let that really soak in before I apply. So now that that has really got into my pores, I am now going to apply my foundation. Today I'm going to using the Neutrogenia Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup Foundation. This um, has titanium dioxide sunscreen, it's broad spectrum. I am in the shade Nude 40. The reason why I like to use this foundation is because I like to stick with products that my face is normally used to. I don't like to go in with heavy products that can cause me to break out or can leave different textures on your skin because your skin is not used to it. So I like to stay in with the same brand so that way my skin is used to it and it's not changing. To apply my foundation, I'm going to take a little bit of it and put it on my hand. Then I'm going to take my Morphe 439 brush and I'm going to dab it on there and I'm going to dab it on my face. The reason why we want to dab it on our face and dabbing motions is because we want the product to sit in and if we go ahead and just brush it we are actually smudging it and we want to help fill those pores. This is going to help leave your foundation very flawless, almost like an airbrush effect. Now you can do this with a foundation brush that has a lot of bristles and it's very thick like this one. Or you can go ahead and you can use a beauty blender. It's almost like the same thing. I personally don't like using a beauty blender to apply my foundation because I feel like it pulls up too much of the product in my beauty blender. 
And so what I'll do is sometimes I will go over my foundation with the beauty blender to pick up the excess, but I don't like to apply it. Don't forget to do your neck. You can go ahead and you can blend this out. Like I said, now I'm going to dampen my beauty blender and I'm going to help pick up the excess product. This foundation has a good coverage, like I don't know if you can see, but like you can see my freckles still and I like that. It's not too heavy but it still evens out your skin color. So the next step is I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to conceal my under eyes. I am in the shade Light Sand. I'm also gonna apply this to my chin, the bridge of my nose, and my forehead. I am now going to take the same beauty blender I used before and now I'm going to blend out this concealer. I'm going to do it in the same dabbing motions because we still want to set the product into our skin. The reason I like to conceal after I apply my foundation is because I feel like it helps lift up my face, it helps brighten my face. If I did it before my foundation, you wouldn't see as much of a highlight underneath my eyes right here. It would be toned down by the foundation and I really like the highlighted look. It makes me look more awake, it makes my skin look more flawless, and so that's why I apply my concealer after my foundation. Now after my concealer is applied and blended, I'm now going to set my face with a luxury baking powder. This baking powder that I'm going to be using today is the Luxury Baking Powder by Revolution. I love this product. It is in the shade Banana. It is a skin tone shade. The reason I use a skin tone shade is because when you are setting your face, normally with the translucent powder, it's white. Now the products that I have tried before has left residue of the white on my face still when I have taken pictures and you can still see it. So in order to avoid that, I use this skin tone color. The reason for a setting powder is we want to be able to set the concealer and the foundation in place. This is going to help our foundation and concealer last all day long. That way it's not moving, it's not going to buckle up like I had said. Um, it's going to help keep the makeup very flawless and very seamless. So I'm going to be taking another beauty blender. This one has a flat edge, so that way I'm able to press it into my skin very easily. So I just take it on the beauty blender and I just press it in. And don't worry about the excess, we're eventually going to wipe that away. For the rest of my face, I'm going to take a brush and help brush that over my skin to help set the makeup. Now that the setting powder is in place, we are going to let that sit for about 5 to 10 minutes so that way the powder can actually work into the skin. What setting powder actually does is it heats up the chemicals in your face and actually bakes the product together. So it's going to bake your foundation, your concealer, even your primer and the lotion that we put on and put it in together and just pack it all in. While our baking powder is sitting in our face, I'm going to now go ahead and add a little bit of bronzer and contour. Today I'm going to be using the Hoola Benefit Contour. That's what it looks like. This is a very cool and neutral color for contour. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush. This is the Scala brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and start to contour. What I like to do is I like to hold my face back and I like to go in upward motions that is going to help lift my face. I also like to highlight my cheek and so I will go in a circular motion right here and help contour that which will also help lift my face and just bring it all the way up. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this. 
start further out and then you can work your way in. So for this I'm going in sweeping circular motions. I'm going to go in with a darker shade of the contour and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Contour Kit, light to medium. I'm going to be going in with a smaller tapered brush and I'm going to be going in with this darker shade right here. And I'm just going to go in a little bit and just define this contour. Don't forget to do your neck so it is all blended. Now we can go ahead and wipe away our baking powder. I'm going to be using the Morphe E41 brush. This is just a big fluffy brush. This is just going to help wipe away all the excess baking powder that we have on our face. So now that we have wiped away our baking powder, we are going to go ahead and spray our face. I'm going to be using the Morphe Setting Mist. I like this because the spray comes out like a hairspray. What this is going to do is it is going to help just mold all of those products. It's going to basically just melt them all together so that way it leaves your face very flawless and very finished. It's going to help just take all of those products and just mix them all together. This is going to just help just basically go over your face and just completely seal the products. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little bit of blush and I'm going to be taking this palette. This is the Ellen Tracy palette. I'm just going to be taking a little bit just to add some color. Now I'm going to highlight my face and today I'm going to use the Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter. And I'm actually going to spray my brush a little bit, get a little wet. By spraying our face with the setting mist before we apply our highlight, it is helping our highlight go on smoothly. I'm going to take it with my finger. See, this is what the highlight looks like. It's very pretty. I'm going to do my nose. I'm going to go ahead and take a small brush. I'm going to highlight under my eyebrow. The reason we want to highlight is because it's going to give us that natural glow. It is going to also help to exaggerate that highlight that we did with the concealer. And it is going to uplift our face and make our face more vibrant and youthful. Now I'm going to just go ahead and just add a little lip. Now we're going to go ahead and spray our face one last time to seal all the makeup that we have put on. And this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did creating it. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.